for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spider-Man here for NextGenTactics.com for your daily dose on August 27th, 2010. Just trying to get you through your day on this Friday. Thank God for the weekend. Anyways, we got some Xbox footage that we took this morning. Storm. I love this rush, guys. Do this. I mean, try this out, okay? And it's just an example of switching up your tactics. All right? So we're going to rush straight up the stairs. We're going to be a little cautious because if uh, they're rushing the other side, you're going to see them right, or, you know, right at the top of the stairs. So anyways, we get caught here, all right? Obviously, this guy, you know, realizes his teammate got killed. And I'm just showing the winning kill cam here because uh, it's kind of cool with the C4. Okay? So the... <clears throat> nice job, Severed. With the riot shield. Anyways, so we had that rush and... We killed one guy and we got killed. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to anticipate them trying to anticipate us doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to pop the claymore down because you know someone's going to think, hey, maybe I should flank the guy, right? And then we're going to sit down here and you can see him through this uh, this door, through this, uh, yeah, whatever it is. Anyways, and I don't want to go too far because I, I sort of want to stick to the right-hand wall because of my claymore. Because if they come around and I'm too far out, they're going to see me before they trip the claymore. So I'm just waiting. And look at that. <laughs> Try and flank me. Anyways, I do that all the time. And it's not just this map, okay? It just happens to be this one scenario where I'll do that first rush. You'll get a kill. Maybe you'll get killed. <laughs> Who knows? And there's a bomb. So I just noticed the bomb. Uh, kill that guy, and I'm just uh, alerting my teammates to where the bomb is by spinning around. And um, I do that all the time. Like, I'll change it up. And 90% of the time, guys think they're going to do the same thing, which the one guy did to try and kill you. But then the other 10%, you're going to get somebody who's, you know, thinking a little bit more and going to try and, and, and flank you and try to outmaneuver you. And and we free, we covered both angles. We covered both angles. Okay, my other beef here, I don't know. Like, if this is an Xbox thing, it seems to be because it doesn't happen nearly as often. Almost in every game this happened, we had rage quitters. We had guys just freaking leaving the game. First round leaving the game. As soon as they die, they dashboard it, I guess it's called. Um, and, and you end up not being able to... to um, uh, to change hosts oh or God. get a new host for the game and it goes back to the lobby and it sucks. Okay, anyways, so I'm just going to show an example here and um, on Invasion. And this is the first round and I basically told my teammates, said, you know what, I can handle B defense all by myself. Uh, I'm not rushing. Sometimes I'll rush it uh, on A and I do do that, uh, the A rush in this game, just not this, this round. Uh, so I got the Claymore down and I'm just covering these guys and look at this guy sitting there trying to snipe. So I cover these two guys, but then watch the kill feed. See? Icehawk left the game. Right? And I don't know how many people end up leaving the game here, but uh, pretty much the entire team. And we do get some, um, I think a guy that joins and somebody else, uh, he comes in. Okay, so two guys are gone. What the hell? Uh, I believe it was two guys. I think they started with six. Yeah, they started with six. Look. Uh, okay, Anti Phoenix connected. But watch this next round. I mean, they just freaking... I don't know. Like, every game. Look it. Here we go again. The host left. Right? Now they got four. So two guys. So when Antic joined, I mean, another one or two guys ended up leaving. Right after the first round. So what is it with the Xbox? I mean, guys just get get killed once. Watch. Watch right here. Oh! Look it. Now they were down to three guys. And, and by the time this round's over... There's only two guys left. Guys, let's go for, uh, what is the problem? I don't get it. I mean, how do you get better at a game? You just freaking rage quit. You get play one round, you get killed, and you just quit the game. Or you, or you dash for at least you know. Uh, here's the other guy. So anyways, after this, and you can just watch the kill feed, and the freaking guys just quit one after another. So I really don't get it. I mean, maybe you guys can uh, enlighten me as to why that is. It doesn't seem to happen nearly as often on the PS3. It was just when I was playing Xbox and almost every game, and almost every single game, every single game, spawn tubers, um, half the games we played, uh, more than half the team was just camping in their base. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. And I 
don't I've never seen that so often for so many games in a row in my entire life. Playing COD four, playing Modern Warfare two, World at War. Uh so I don't know. Like guys, help me out here. I have no idea. Leave some comments. I like to know what you guys think and what your experiences are. Anyways, that's been your daily dose for August twenty seventh, two thousand ten. Kind of funny, you know, a little strategy and a little what the WTF is going on with these guys that just freaking rage quit. I mean, I won't even call it rage quit. They just end up quitting the game for whatever reason. Either, I don't know, I won't, I won't even say any, I won't go any further, right? For nextgentactics.com, I'm Spiderbite and I'm out.